Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to talk about something that I get quite a few questions about and I've explained it briefly in a video before but I thought I would just make a whole video talking about it so if anyone ever asks I can just refer them straight to this. If you are new to going to the theatre or perhaps you've been going for a long time but you've only ever known that booking tickets online is the way to get your tickets, then this might be a new term for you. But for me, something that is in my theatre vocab and I've used it many times is day seating. First things first, if you've picked a show that you want to see, you need to make sure that they actually do day seats. It's not applicable to every single show in the West End. The way I do it is either go onto the show's website and go into their ticket information section and generally if they have day seats, they'll be listed there. Some shows, however, do not list this on their website. So I think the best resource for it is Theatre Monkey. So they're Theatre Monkey 1 on Twitter, and I believe it's just theatremonkey.com or .co.uk. I will link it in the description for you. On there, they have loads of theatre information, but specifically, they have a day seat information section. So people have put in loads of reports of the shows that do day seats, what times they've got to the theatre and what, and what number they've been in the line, um, and just prices and things like that where the seats generally are loads of great information as I mentioned not every show does day seats so you don't want to waste your time queuing up for a show and finding out that there's not actually any tickets available at a discounted price in the morning definitely check those resources first before you do any of that most theatre box offices open at 10 a.m. unless generally it's a bank holiday uh, I think in which case they generally open at noon but check this before you go because I know I've done it before I've gone and queued up on a bank holiday and realized there's an extra two hours to wait and that wasn't that wasn't fun <laughs> it's worth noting that some box offices will only accept cash for day seats so that's another great thing that is listed on theatre monkey um, you can see whether people have said that they could use cash or card or if it was only cash I know I've gone to see some shows and day sat for them and it's been only cash. You don't want to get caught out not having any cash on you by the time you actually have queued up. I think pretty much all theatres that do day seats in London at the moment, um, there's no age restrictions or anything on them apart from Matilda. Matilda only offer day seats um, for those who are aged between 16 to 25. They are five pounds, which I think is the cheapest in the West End for day seats. I think it ranges from five pounds at Matilda. Probably the most expensive one that I know of is at Wicked at £29.50. Um, so that's kind of the price range you're looking at and they're normally very good seats. Again on Theatre Monkey it's listed where all the day seats are located. Some of them are at the box office discretion but depending on the day you go that could be really really good seats in the stalls. Um, for the most part they're normally front row tickets so that's front row in the stalls which is amazing. But yes, Matilda is only 16 to 25 year olds and they do ask for your ID when you are queuing up. Also, it's only one ticket per person, whereas most other shows you can get two tickets per person. So that's a word of warning if you want to day seat at Matilda. Well, I've talked about the actual kind of definition of day seats and how much they normally are, blah, blah, blah. But the actual day seating process can vary. And the most questions I usually get are people asking what times I recommend they queue up. Now, I normally direct people to Theatre Monkey because again, there are user reports of kind of what times they've arrived and then how many people turned up after that and at what times. But generally for me, I always think, well, if it's a weekday, it might not be as busy because obviously people have to work or generally people are at school, college, university. So they're not easily or as easily able to go and day seat. So on the weekday, I'll probably arrive at around maybe half eight to nine o'clock, not really later than that. But again, not, not really earlier than that because I like my sleep. And then on the weekend, obviously people are able to day seat more easily. So it can be any time really. And it also depends on the show's popularity. I know a lot of times people day seating at Wicked could get there at kind of six o'clock in the morning, which I've been guilty of. Um, so, you know, it just totally varies. And as well, it can depend on the weather. <laughs> This is crazy, but if it's pouring it down with rain, the chances of people day seating might be a bit slimmer. And then also the, the month, so obviously it's January at the moment, and people might be a, 
Um, watching the penny is a bit more, so queues might be quieter, but you still have tourists in London, so yeah, factors like that, things like half term, the summer holidays, it's generally busier because loads of kids are off school so they can come and try and day seat for shows. There's loads of varying factors, you've just kind of got to think what's going on at the moment, of like what's going to affect my circumstances. Now, if you live in England, you'll already know this, but our weather can be very temperamental and not all of the theatres have covers for where you can day seat. There are some places like um, Wicked, which I've days at the most at, which do have a good kind of canopy um, by the entrance, so you're, you're covered from the rain there, but there are some theatres where you are really exposed to the elements, so please do take that into consideration when you're day seating. Obviously in the, in the summer, you, there's a bit less chance of rain, so you'll be a bit more okay there, but um, during the winter months, obviously it's cold, it can be windy, it can be rainy, and also, if you're going to be day seating for kind of a few hours or something, you probably will want to sit down. So if you want to be really prepared, um, I've seen people bring along like thin cushions to take with them. I was day seating last week and my friend had actually brought a blanket with her, which was great. I did not think that far ahead. Dress accordingly for the weather and be prepared for a kind of a long few hours if you're day seating from really early times. Personally, I think day seating is great. I think if you're willing to get up early enough, it can be a really kind of definite way of knowing you're going to get cheap tickets for a show that day. I also think it's a really fun way to kind of interact with other fans of that show. More often than not, in a day seat queue, there will be fans of that show queuing up for tickets. Um, but just as in general, it's kind of nice to talk to other people who are interested in theatre. And I would say like, don't be afraid to chat to people in a queue, especially if you're queuing on your own. Because I've found sometimes when I'm queuing up for maybe a few hours and I'm on my own, obviously in that time you'll probably want to get a coffee or go to the toilet or something like that. And you don't want to like lose your place in the queue so i'll always like talk to the people around me and just say like oh i'm really sorry like i just want to pop out but can you keep my place for me and more often than not people will be fine with it like they're not going to be savage about it and say no you you've left the queue that's it talking of which um in terms of getting a coffee getting breakfast going to the toilet and things like that i always kind of check google maps before i'm day seating somewhere new to see kind of where the nearest cafes and things are, just so we know what my options are. <laughs> this is just a little, little extra piece of information for you. Um, yeah, it's always good to know kind of if there's a popular coffee shop nearby where you can just go in, grab a drink, use their toilet or whatever, just so you're not kind of wandering around aimlessly. I hope that information has helped. I feel like I've covered everything to do with day seats that I can. Let me know if I've missed anything that you wanted to know about. Let me know in the comments and I will give you any information that I can. I'm very happy to share this theatre information with you. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I make loads of theatre content, so if you like theatre, this channel will be for you. All my social media links are down below if you want to follow me on like Twitter and Facebook, Instagram and all of that lot. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you very soon. Bye.